Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we are talking about the Sony FX3 or the creator. Uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about the Sony FX3 how it was applied on the creator and we'll probably talk a little bit about the creator in a summary i enjoyed myself in the movie it's a breath of fresh air i mean it's not originally new but it is unique you know it's the twist of it's like you could feel the avatar you could feel avatar in there you could feel terminator in there you could feel a lot of these epic movies you know all in one not copy but inspiration from those movies i thought that was really good okay hold on hold on this is one of the amazing factors about this movie this is the camera that was used to shoot the creator this tiny camera that i use every day here in the studio without this lens they used a different lens but you know, I don't want to take this off, but you get the point. This is basically the camera. This is, I can hold it in one hand. I can hold it with two fingers if I take off this lens. Do you understand? That's how small it is. Not to say that this camera is so unique that it did a good job. It's unique anyway. So are the other cameras that are available right now. That's how good most of our camera equipment have become. This guy just has the advantage of a full frame, um, low light. I mean, it can shoot in really low. It can shoot under the moonlight. Those are the advantages. Then it's got stabilization that is decent enough. Oh man, there's there's so much I want to do. But you see, what what really blew me away for the movie more was that I walked in trying to see what this camera did like yeah I'm, I'm gonna see if this camera really pulled it off if i won't feel any jitters if i won't feel funny like oh eh, uh, do you know when the full movie started it didn't even occur to me to look out for what i said i wanted to look out for while we were walking home and talking about the movie that's when i said you know what i never got a chance to really look at the movie what are you trying to look that's what he said like the fact that this camera shot it was it good of course it was good that's why you didn't notice anything it's like you know i was just caught up with the movie i forgot to look for faults like if no it was off the hook it was like if they had said that that movie was shot by an alexa I would have said, oh, you can tell. <laughs> I can guess. It's it's like a red. If you say it's a red, you say, hmm, no wonder. This thing handled it like it was the best Sony camera used on that project. Which means we got to work on our game. That shows that it's not about the device. It's not about the tool. He used it for a reason, not just to prove a point. 80 million for the movie. He didn't shoot it to prove a point or to tell people um, I could do that with, with this low camera. No. In fact, he took a risk by going with this camera. But he was sure what he was doing. He knew it's the tool um, that is needed for the job. You go for the tool that's needed for the job, not the two that everybody approves it doesn't have to be the same i use for my movie even though you know it won't be a bad idea but it still doesn't mean everybody should go out there and start making movies with this you find out what's best for your movie your kind of movie the creation the image you're trying to get and do studies before you choose a camera but I'm excited that this, this little guy here did a good job. 
It gives me more value to what I have. And um, I will be doing some more reviews on this guy. Not the re not the general, re not the review like you think, but I want to, um, what I've been using it for gives me some pretty good idea that this thing has a lot more advantage than we know. Okay, so I'm going to use it for some applications and show you the result from time. So I'm going to do like two or three videos um, in a row on this guy and show you what the results are so that you can know that, you know, why this guy really, why this camera really stands out. Why most of the Sony cameras, A7 III, yeah. Um, but the size, and if you ask me, <laughs> I'm going to say this now. Um, yeah, some people might not like this, but I'm going to say it. I think this is still the best ergonomy in, uh, in terms of body structure. At the end of the day, the box is good, but when you rig this guy up, it actually turns out better. Like, do, uh, you, you let me know in the comments, do you want Sony to go box with this? For these guys... I love them the way they are. If you go box, it might just uh, lose the flavor. This is perfect. Because at the end of the day, when you rig it, it still looks like you rig the box. This 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 shape, I'm cool with it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. This. Now, listen. It's sad, but... It's now becoming hard work to do giveaways for free. It's now too hard to give away stuff for free. And I, it's like I'm begging, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop begging people to come get their gifts, free gifts that I can sell and keep, keep to myself and, and, and improve my studios. Okay? So I'm going to stop talking about it. If people don't come collect... I keep quiet. Anyway, we're out of here.